So today I'm gonna to be talking about two things. First up is going to be my camera setup and how I film my POV videos. Second up is going to be about my wheel specs and tire setup. Uh, if I send you this link, it's because I get a decent amount of questions about both of these items. So if I send this to you, don't get offended. It's saving us both time. I'm just gonna make a video about it. And yeah, that's going to be that. So I'll get into the wheel specs in a second and we're gonna talk about my camera setup. All right, so now let's move on to the wheels, the wheel specs and the tire setup. So just a little background for those of you that don't know what these wheels are. These are the BBS FIR wheels. I'm sure most of you probably do know what these wheels are since a lot of people have been asking. And if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in seeing, you know, how I'm running these wheels. Before I jump right into that, I'm gonna talk a little bit of background and why I decided on these wheels. So I saw a gray F80, I think it was, fashion gray out in Texas um, and this was you know way before I even had the car uh, I knew I wanted the M3 the E92 um, but anyways I saw a gray F80 out in Texas and this was the first time I saw the FIRs and I'm pretty sure they this guy must have gotten them like right when they came out because I'd never seen a wheel like it uh, and this was about like probably 2014 2015 time frame I noticed the wheels and I thought it was really cool how kind of like skinny they look from you know a complete front profile but if you look from the side obviously as most of you will have known before they have the like speed holes and pocketing um, so it's just a really cool design very unique that fashion gray f80 it always stuck in my memory you know I saw it that one time and I couldn't really forget it because I thought the wheels were so cool and it was one of the best aspects of that car so anyways, I forgot about it. A couple years went by, uh, picked up the E92, and I was you know, thinking about wheels, what I wanted to put on the car. I don't know, for some reason, it came across in my mind that gray F80 again. And I was like, you know what? I've never seen an E92 with FIRs before. Uh, now I have seen some that have done it before, but they're not very common. So anyways, at that point in time when I was looking for wheels for this car, I was like, well, I haven't really seen anyone put FIRs on the E92, so I wonder if that would work. Yeah, that's kind of a little bit of background about you know how I came across the wheels, how I decided on them. Um, and yeah, I'm super, super happy with the decision I made. I think these are probably one of the best looking wheels, not just for this car, but to date. I mean, I've seen GT3s with these wheels and oh, it looks so, so, so good. So I picked up my car in September of 2018 and it's funny because like I said, I got my car and I was immediately thinking about mods and wheels. I actually picked up these wheels like two or three months after. I think it was in like November of 2018. So I got the wheels shortly after and I got the BBK, Olin's, I got the side skirts. I got a decent amount of things just very, very shortly after I picked up the car. So um, it's funny because I picked up all that stuff, but I had just bought the car, you know, just a few months prior. And I wanted to enjoy the car in its stock form. I didn't want to, I'm not one of those guys that likes to buy stuff, uh, mods, and then just like dump it on the car all at once. I like to, you know, enjoy it kind of in every phase. And this was the first time I kind of just bought something that quickly. Um, but anyways, I still, you know, it was like, I want to enjoy it in stock form a little bit. So all of those mods, the BBK, Olin's, the uh, wheels, side skirts, all that, they just sat in my garage for, they sat in the garage, I think, for about six six or eight months and while well, I was enjoying the car in stock form. So, losing some light. I'm going to try and get this over quickly. Let's talk about what a lot of you came here to finally see, which are the wheel specs, tire specs, all that good stuff. Right, so let's talk wheel specs and then we'll talk tire specs afterwards. So these are 19 inch wheels. The fronts are 19 by nine and a half ET22. Rears are 19 by 10 and a half ET35. As far as weight goes, these are insanely light with the fronts coming in at a mere 16.5 pounds and 17.5 pounds in the rear. So they're incredibly lightweight. They're borderline carbon territory. Like it's just unreal how light these wheels are. Not to mention that they just, I think, look so sick. And then the rear wheel has a 12 millimeter spacer. Front has no spacer. And you know, I was considering putting a five mil, but it's pretty flush um, and it still rubs. So I was like, yeah, definitely not putting a five mil. But to get the rear flush, you definitely have to use a um, spacer. I used a 12, but there was something funky about the 10 mil. I can't remember exactly, but I keep, kept seeing it on the forums. I don't know if it just like doesn't sit flush on the hub or I, I don't know what the issue is, but 
that's why I didn't go with a 10. There's that, you know, something funky going on, but I don't know. I've seen some people do it now after I got the 12 mil and I'm like, yeah, I don't really care. I'm just going to keep the 12, even though it still rubs in the back a little bit. Um, I'm just too lazy. I don't care. It's not going to make a huge difference. I don't think I'm pretty sure it'll still rub since I'm running R comps. So they just kiss the uh, inside of, you can even see where it's been rubbing. If you haven't seen the modless video, check it out. I run through every other mod I've done to the car thus far. It'll be linked in the description below. So now on to tires. Man, it's getting pretty dark, so I'm gonna try and wrap this up quickly. Tires I'm running are the Toyo R888Rs, both front and rear. Fronts are 265, 30, 19, and the rears are 295, 30, 19. They look so, so, so good and so meaty. 295 in the rear, 265 up front. I'm just gonna keep a super shallow depth of field in order to get some more light. Um, so hopefully it doesn't get too blurry here and there. But yeah, I'm gonna continue with this on. So um, it just, I can just have enough light to finish up this video. But anyways, I love the meaty look of the R comps. Obviously the grip is amazing. Uh, it may be a bit overkill for this car having R comps and you know having tires that wide. But I don't know, I just have always preferred R comps ever since I had them first on my Abarth and uh, you know we'll talk about that maybe in another video uh, if you scroll down in my Instagram actually I have it highlighted in my Instagram click the story highlight of Abarth sad face on my Instagram profile and you'll see what I'm talking about probably gonna talk about that in a video later in the future not really a priority right now but it's a it's an interesting story and so back to the tires some say that the R comps are noisy and yeah it is noisier than a normal tire I will give you that but I don't really mind the noise to be honest, plus I don't really even notice it because of the exhaust I'm running. Uh, just to clear it up right now, in case anyone is new to the channel, the exhaust I'm running is the full Bomas titanium system. It's titanium from the right after the header's back, so X-pipe, axle back, everything is titanium, tips included. And here, I'll show it really quick in case anyone is new here. But yeah, that's not just burnt blue tips, it's actual titanium. And, you know, I may be biased, but I do think it is the best sounding exhaust on the market. And it is a jewelry piece. It looks so good. So if you want to learn more about that, again, link in the description. I did a whole video about that. A uh, little review, valves open, valves closed, etc., etc. So my point being, I know I just went on a little tangent right there, but my point being is even though the R comps are technically a little bit noisier than a normal tire, if you're running an exhaust on this car, you're probably not going to notice it. At least I don't. Uh, maybe I'm also biased because on the Abarth I had a different set of R comps and those were noisy. Oh my god. Those were like truck tires. Uh, but they gripped and they were awesome. Uh, so anyways, the Toyos are not nearly as loud as those tires. So I don't even really notice it at this point. And you know, paired with the super loud exhaust that I'm running, it, it really is not a concern to me at all. I don't notice it at all. And the other thing is, you know, if you're a guy or girl that, you know, likes to drive with music, not even blasting it, you know, windows up, just listening to some music, I do not think that you will hear these tires. My opinion, I don't know, maybe some other people are more sensitive to that stuff, but for me, it doesn't bug me at all. So I'm totally cool dailying R comps, uh, love the grip, love the look at them. And that is why I'm running them on this car. So that just about wraps up the wheel and tire setup portion. Uh, next I'm gonna talk about my camera setup and how I film my POV videos. I get so, so, so many questions, you know, not just on YouTube, but on Instagram too. People are wondering, you know, how I fix the camera, what I'm using to film my POV videos, all that stuff. My giant collection of camera gear consists of a mirrorless camera, which is what I'm filming on right now and an action camera. So the mirrorless camera that I'm using right now is a Sony a7 II, and I also use this for all of my IG pictures. It's an amazing camera, and it's even better paired with my 35 millimeter fixed 1.8 lens, and that is the lens that I have on right now. Uh, it's a super, super sharp lens from Sony. Uh, I was thinking about doing, you know, a 1.4, and you know, they're good, they're amazing lenses, but you know, as I was doing my research and do your due diligence, everyone. Do your research before you buy stuff. Ask questions. Anyways, as I was looking for, you know, a different lens for this camera, I was looking at, you know, 35 1.4s, and 1.4s are significantly more expensive than the 1.8 that I'm running right now. 
but when I was seeing some reviews and seeing some sample photos, this 1.8 that I'm using is actually sharper than most of the 1.4s. All of the videos and the sample photos that I saw actually showed this lens, the 35 1.8, being much sharper than the 1.4. So I thought, you know, I'd much rather just, you know, test out the 1.8 and if I really need a 1.4, I can get that later in the future. And like I was saying, this lens is much sharper than some of the other 1.4s just because it's a newer lens. And in addition to that, this 1.8, is much 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 smaller than the 1.4s all the 1.4s out there were much bulkier and you know I, I get it you get an extra stop of light but it's just not worth it in my opinion like you're how often are you shooting at, at 1.4 like you shoot some pictures but video you can't do that if you're shooting portraits 1.4 is too shallow like your nose is going to be blurred out so anyways without getting into all of that i just decided get the 1.8 it's sharper try it out if you really want a 1.4 you can get it later completely breezed over the 1.4s. I'm super happy with this lens. I like that it doesn't add any uh, significant extra bulk to the camera. It's very usable. And like I said, it's just razor, razor sharp. So super, super happy with this lens. I definitely recommend it. Uh, same with the camera. And a little plug right here. If you guys are interested in getting the camera or the lens, I have it linked on my Amazon storefront. These two are linked in the intermediate package, whatever you want to call it, playlist, not playlist, list. It's linked in the intermediate list on my Amazon storefront, link in the description below. It's an affiliate link. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but if you shop through my links, it gives me very small commission and it helps me out. It helps me make cool videos, get new stuff for the car and go different places, you know, do all that cool stuff. So if you don't mind, if you're going to buy something, please use the Amazon links that I provide doesn't cost you anything extra but it allows me to do cooler stuff with the car you know go to events just make better content in general so appreciate it if you guys use that thank you so much and then a side note I am also selling this camera that I'm using I ordered a new camera nothing is wrong with this camera that I'm using the a7 II it's a phenomenal camera look at my IG photos uh, obviously IG compresses it a lot, but you can still tell how good of a camera this is. This is a great, you know, even a beginner camera. I learned on this camera really. Uh, so anyone can use it. It's amazing, phenomenal. Can't say better things about it. The only reason I'm upgrading is because, you know, I'm starting to do more videos and I kind of want just a couple more functionalities that'll make my life a little bit easier. Uh, not to say this camera is difficult or anything, but there's a few things that I do want that'll just make it a tiny bit easier. And I'll talk about all that once I get my new camera. But like I said before, this camera is for sale. Hit me up on Instagram. Now to the action camera that I use. The action camera that I use is a GoPro Hero 8. That's what I use to shoot my POV videos. And you know, I just figured I'm gonna get a GoPro. I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm gonna make some videos, just see how it goes. And went pretty well. <laughs> the first video I really truly made with it uh, was that quarantine run video. And at the time of filming this video, it's at 1.8 million views, I think. So, dang, I need another video to blow up like that. So please, if you got to this point, please hit that like button, subscribe. Helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. I want another video that goes like that. Come on, help me out, guys. <laughs> help me out. Hit that like button. But anyways, getting back to it, I have a GoPro Hero 8. I use a head strap mount, um, but I don't actually put it on my head. I actually just kind of jerry-rig it and then hold it with my teeth. That gives me the best angle. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking about that. They've tried, you know, getting an action camera, put the head strap on, put the chest strap on. Head strap is too high, chest strap is way too low. So they're like, well, what do you do? Like, do you put it around your neck or something? That's a bit kinky. No, I don't do that. I just hold it with my teeth. Uh, and I was looking for, you know, some teeth mounts and they actually make them. There's like mouth guard teeth mounts for the GoPro and like other action cameras. But I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna get that right now. I'm gonna get the head strap, jerry rig it, hold it with my teeth. And I'll show you guys that right now. Give me one sec. All right, so I got the GoPro. Here it is right here. Let's get it to focus. There we go, here we go. Here's the GoPro Hero 8. Screen doesn't really look like that. It's just my polarizer on the camera. Uh, it works perfectly fine. But yeah, that's why it's causing that little like rainbow discoloration. Anyways, this is the GoPro that I use for shoot, to shoot my POV videos. This is the head strap mount. And like I said, I just kind of jerry rig it. And I just, you know, hold it with my teeth right back here. So hold up my teeth while I'm driving and that's it. Um, 
I know it's not, you know, the safest way to do this, but it's what works right now. Um, but yeah, it has a touch screen. You can cycle between the videos, photos, time lapse. And the 8 has hyper smooth, I think that's what it's called, hyper smooth uh, 2.0, and it has boost also. So that's why the footage in the car is just crystal, crystal clear and super smooth. It's not bouncy and, you know, jiggling all over the place. The GoPro's in uh, stabilization is super, super good. Highly recommend it. Also, just another little plug. I have some links that you can use at GoPro down below. Uh, link in the description. Check those out. You can get, uh, I think they give you a discount on the GoPros. If not, again, it's an affiliate code. Doesn't cost you anything extra. Just gives me a very small commission. Um, so yeah, I have those codes for GoPro. I also added them on my Amazon storefront if you just wanna order everything through there. Um, but yeah, either one. I have the codes for GoPro. Check it out on their website. And I also have it on my Amazon storefront along with different accessories. Uh, the head strap mount kind of comes in like a big bulk of accessories, so you may have to buy some others. But again, I have everything listed there. That's how I shoot my POV videos. Another thing that I've gotten a lot of requests is to have like a footwell cam. Um, I'm gonna order another action camera soon and I will be shooting some of those videos. I just gotta figure out how to mount uh, a footwell cam. Yeah, I was initially going to sell the GoPro Hero 8 and upgrade just to the Hero 9 Black, but I decided, you know, I might as well try to keep it and then do some of that footwell cam stuff for you guys. Uh, I don't know why you guys wanna see my feet, it's kinda weird. Um, but I, I do have some decent footwork. I was a ballerina when I was younger. <laughs> Anyways, stop messing around, but I am going to pick up another action camera. We'll be figuring out how to mount the GoPro and do a footwell cam and POV driving. Stay tuned for that, gonna be filming that soon. Uh, the Hero 9 should be coming in very soon. So just wrapping this up, uh, the audio and the camera is probably going to be different since I just switched to my phone. Uh, I guess I just forgot to clear all of the stuff on the camera. But anyways, figured this may be a good point to, you know, switch and show you what the camera actually looks like. This is the Sony a7 II. Uh, yeah, you can see up there the SD card is full. So yeah, like I said, selling this camera um, went over my, let me just put that on the ground right there, nice and easy. Like I said, got the GoPro, how I film my POV videos. Um, and you know, I sometimes will film with the iPhone if I don't have either one on me. Um, it's decent, but definitely prefer either the GoPro, Always, almost always have this with me. And I try to have the camera with me almost all the time too. Um, so yeah, just some future plans. Like I said, I'm upgrading the camera that's for sale, getting another action cam so that I can film the footwell cam and POV videos. So stay tuned, I'm gonna be getting that soon. Camera should, should be, I think it's actually shipped. It should be coming in very soon. So stay tuned for those. By the time this video is actually even put together, um, it probably I probably already have my new camera, but uh, yeah, we'll see. And just wrapping this video up, check out the links in the description for my Amazon storefront. I have all my camera gear listed there. And if you guys prefer, I also have a link for the GoPro. You can order the Hero 8 to start out or just ball out and get the Hero 9. Um, up to you if you want to shoot some POV content. But yeah, check out those links in the description. Again, they're affiliate links. Gives me a very, very small commission, but it helps me do cool things and you know, do cool stuff for the channel, make better content. So if you don't mind, if you're gonna order something, check out those links, use them, would greatly appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It helps me out so much with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new here, this is my E92 M3, decent amount of mods on it, links in the description. Um, and hit that subscribe button, come on, right here. I mean, it's not right here, but I think it's a little bit, yeah, yeah, right down there. And hit that, hit that bell too after you hit that. Then if you watch this far, just comment banana breaks. Looks like a banana from afar. It actually really does right now. Just comment banana breaks if you watch this far. Well, I finished the video. It's super dark outside, so hopefully it turns out okay. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Listen to this little idol. And it's so dark you can barely even see the tips, so yep. That is it. I'm cold. East Coast people don't get mad at me. I know it's not as cold as it is on the East Coast, but for us CA folks, my hands are freezing and I'm cold and I want to go home. So let's go home, baby. Three, two, one.
Zero.